This is one of multiple videos discussing VTP or VLAN trunking protocol. In this video, we're going to troubleshoot VTP issues. We've been told that when a VLAN is added to one switch in this topology, it's not synchronized across the other switches. In this topology, we have switch one, switch two, and switch three. So on switch one, show VLAN shows us that we have the default of VLANs, VLAN 1, 1002, 3, 4, and 5. Brief shows us similar information. We can see that all ports on the switch are in VLAN 1. We'll ignore these unsupported old VLANs for now. So let's do a test. I'll create a VLAN 2. Show VLAN brief. VLAN 2 exists in the VLAN database. Does it show on switch 2? So show VLAN brief. We haven't learnt about that VLAN on switch 2. Show VLAN brief on switch 3. We have also not learnt about that VLAN on switch 3. So let's start with switch 1 and switch 2. Show VTP status. The default mode in VTP is server. The switch is operating as a server. The default domain is null. In other words, no domain is configured. The domain name used here is CCNA. The switch is using VTP version one. It's capable of running version one to version three. Let's have a look at switch two. So show VTP status. This looks correct. The domain name is the same on both sides. It's also operating as a server. Number of VLANs that exist is five. Number of VLANs that exist here is six. The configuration revision number is one. Configuration revision number is zero. Let's use this command, show interface switch port. Do the same here, show interface switch port. Okay, can you find the problem? What's the problem based on this output? Can you find the issue? Okay, so for both of these switches on gigabit 00, which is the interface used by switch one and switch two, the switch port is enabled. The administrative distance in this example is dynamic auto. It's the same on both sides. It's currently operating as static access. Dynamic trunk protocol or DTP is used to automatically negotiate trunking between switches. You can see that the negotiation of trunking is on, but because both sides are using dynamic auto, the current operational mode is static access. Show interface trunk shows us that there are no trunks on switch two. and there are no trunks on switch one. VTP or VLAN trunking protocol requires trunk links between switches. Show run interface gigabit zero zero. This is a default configuration. The switches are negotiating encapsulation. They are negotiating trunking. Show interface trunk shows us that no trunks were negotiated. Show interface switch port shows us that DTP is used, but it's currently set to dynamic auto on both sides. So on this side, it's also dynamic auto, which means they won't negotiate with one another and they'll revert back to access ports. So what we could do here is type a switch port, mode, dynamic, and set one side to desirable. So now show interface switch port shows us that this side is dynamic desirable. This side is dynamic auto, but they've negotiated to form a trunk. The operational mode is trunk. The encapsulation used is ISL. Generally for CCNA, we want to use 802.1Q, but on these switches, which are iOS V layer two switches, the default encapsulation is ISL. You'll find that on switches such as the 3750 as well. 
So that looks a lot better. Show VTP status. Number of existing VLANs has increased. Show VLAN brief. On this switch, we can now see VLAN 2 in the VLAN database. So let's do another test. We'll create VLAN 3. Show VLAN brief. VLAN 3 appears in the database of switch 2. Show VLAN brief. VLAN 3 is in the database here. If I create another VLAN, VLAN 4. Show VLAN brief. We can see VLAN 4 in the database of switch 1. So VTP is now functioning between switch 1 and switch 2. Let's have a look at switch 3. So show VLAN brief. We still have a problem on switch 3. It's not learning the VLANs through VTP. So on switch 3, show interface trunk. Show interface switch port. It looks like we have the same problem. Dynamic auto. Show interface gigabit 01 switch port. Gigabit 01 on switch 2 is also using dynamic auto. So let's change that to use desirable. So switch port mode, dynamic, desirable. Show trunk, or rather show interface trunk on switch 2. Now shows us that we have a trunk port on gigabit 00, as well as gigabit 01. The mode on gigabit 00 is auto, mode on gigabit 01 is desirable. All VLANs are permitted across the trunk. Current VLANs allowed and active in the management domain, one to four. VLANs in spanning tree forwarding state are not pruned. It looks like we still got a problem here. Gigabit 00, zero is two to four. Gigabit 01 is only, is only one. So show interface trunk. Switch three has a trunk configured. Show interface switch port. Gigabit 00 is acting as a trunk. Show VLAN brief. We still haven't learnt about VLANs two, three, and four. Show VTP status. Can you see the problem? I'll show some output on this switch. So on switch two, we have that output, but on switch three, we have this output. Can you find the problem? Notice VTP operating mode is transparent. A transparent switch will not synchronize with other switches in the VTP domain. Both switches are configured in the CCNA domain, but this switch is operating as a transparent switch. So, and I'll just do a run first. So do show run pipe include VTP. Someone, which is me in this case, typed this command. That's not the default. So we need to change the mode to client or server. I'll set it to server. Notice the configuration revision number was zero previously. The number of configured VLANs was five. On this side, it was eight VLANs and the revision number was three. So now, show VTP status. We can see that the number of VLANs is eight. The configuration revision number is three. So that's been synchronized. Show VLAN brief. We can now see the additional VLANs. And now on this side, if I create a new VLAN, VLAN 5, what should happen is we see the VLAN on both switch 2 as well as switch 1. And there we go. VLAN 5 appears on both switch 1 and switch 2. On switch 1, 
if we create a new VLAN, let's say VLAN 10, that should now appear on switch three. And there you go. So in this video, I showed you two problems with VTP. Number one, you need trunk ports. So use the command show interfaces trunk to ensure that trunk ports have either been negotiated using DTP or have been manually configured. Also check your VTP mode. Transparent switches don't synchronize. I hope you found this video useful. If it's been of benefit to you, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.